This short video is going to cover the new Property Genie release, which is 1.0.48. It involves setting up your company to receive online tenant payments. Now, the first thing we have to do to allow our company to receive online tenant payments is enable the option inside of Property Genie. So if you go into System Settings, you're going to see that we find the first tab you come to is Company Settings. That's actually going to have a series of tabs at the top, and you're going to select System Defaults. And you want to edit the record and then select the take payments online option. Now we ask for a couple fields here. First one is the authorized.net login and the second one is the authorized.net key. When you registered with authorized.net you got a link that allowed you to log into your uh, individual page and see information about your account. If you go to the left side of your page you're going to see the account section and you're going to look under there's not one here but we have there should be an API button that gives you the information that we've asked for right here in Property Genie and so what you want to do is you want to take the information from the authorized.net API page and enter those two fields into login and key. The other thing that to consider on the next setup is the convenience charge. Now to actually receive payments online there's going to be a fee associated with those and it's based on a percentage of the actual amount that you charge the tenant. To recover that fee we've given you the option to charge a convenience fee. So we need to set up the charge for that. Now we'll make you aware that the convenience fee is set by your company Property Genie has a $5 per transaction fee that allows us to integrate this into our software. So be aware when you set a fee, and we recommend somewhere between $30 and $35, when you set the fee, you're actually going to want to make sure you include that $5. So, for example, if you set a $35 convenience fee, 30 of it's going to come to you to recover your cost on the transaction and possibly make an additional revenue stream. So what we've got to do to set up that convenience charge is, let's cancel changes real fast. We're going to go over to charges and we're going to add a new charge to the charge table. Now you'll see that we've already done it. We've added the conven credit card convenience fee. And if I edit the table, you'll see that we've put it for both the owner and the lease. And we've actually said show on late pay notice. And then you're going to enter the amount that you chose. So let's cancel changes and go back to the uh, setup screen now. Company settings, system defaults. And since we have that charge in there, we can actually select take payments online and then drop down what the convenience charge fee is and charge a convenience fee. The last thing you're going to do is actually select which areas of payment you're going to receive. You have the e-check option, MasterCard, Visa, and be aware that American Discover or American Express and Discover both charge a little bit more to use their services. So we've given you the option of taking those or not. And you can select one or all of these depending on how you'd like to set up your company. Once you've done that, you've actually accomplished setting up being able to receive payments online. The next thing you have to do is actually give each tenant the ability to log in. So what we've got to do is let's go to a tenant here and go to prospective tenants and then we'll select all and we're going to open up one of our existing tenants in our sample database here and you'll notice the fields email address and password. So if I put for this email address just for the sake of doing so um, property genie and a password of 1234 in the next video we're going to show how tenants actually can pay online. Uh, they, now if you do not want to enter this information manually, the tenants can request and enter their own information from the website which will be covered in the next video, but if you want to enter them manually and have that information here for them so you can just give them an email address and password, that's fine as well and this is where you would do it. Once you do this, again look at the tenant payment options or tenant payment video coming up next and you'll see how the tenant would log in and make their payment.